my name is Liu and today I'm going to be making a video on study programs. So I think what's great about being a student in this generation is that you have everything you want at your fingertips and this includes study programs which can be so so useful in your education. So whether you're in middle school, high school, or university or wherever, they can facilitate learning so so much. So I thought it would be a good idea to put a list of five study programs. They all work on Mac and PC, they're all free, uh, some you can go premium though. But yeah, they're all great, so let's get into it. So first off, there's Anki, which is fundamentally a flashcard making program. It's very straightforward, really easy to use, and can be so helpful. So basically, you can create decks, you can customize them, add definitions, and then you can test yourself. So uh, this is really easy to use. It's very similar to Quizlet, though of course you can access it without needing the internet, so that makes it very useful. So yeah, I definitely recommend you try it out. So the second program is called Flux. I'm not really sure if that's how you pronounce it, but I've only recently downloaded it and it has saved my life. So basically what it does is it alters the color of your monitor according to the time of day. So this is so, so useful for those of us who stay up late uh, writing essays or studying because often the light from the laptop screen can be really uh, harsh and can prevent you from going to sleep. It puts ease on your eyes and it changes the colors to make it more natural. It has made staying on my laptop at night so much easier, so this is a definite 100%, I recommend it. And actually, for all of these programs, the link to download them is in the description box below. So yeah, definitely check this out, it is amazing. So the third on the list is Evernote. So I've used Evernote for an eternity now and it was especially useful in IB history and I absolutely love it. It's such a good note-taking program. It's quite similar, I mean the concept of it is quite similar to OneNote and I did a video about OneNote I think like two months ago. So definitely check that out and I'll put it up here somewhere. Um, basically, I think the difference between OneNote and Evernote and what I can think of in the top of my head is that OneNote is more compatible with the Microsoft ecosystem, if that makes sense. But otherwise, um, I love Evernote so, so much. Basically, it's really easy to use. You have notebooks, and then inside it, you have like sections, and you write notes in the sections, and there's so much to it. So I definitely recommend that you guys download it and try it out for yourselves. The fourth one is Mendeley. So Mendeley was recommended by a friend of mine, and basically, it's very good for citation managing because it's got literally all the papers you need to cite, and it automatically converts them to whatever style of referencing you need. Uh, you can also import citations from the web. I haven't personally used this yet uh, because at the moment I'm not at school or at uni, but I definitely will once I do start uni. It just seems like a really useful program because I feel like citation is always something that's a hassle to do, so anything that can facilitate uh, bibliographies and citations in general is really good. And then last but not least is Dropbox. So I'm sure you guys have heard of Dropbox before and I know it isn't study related specifically but it has saved my life so many ways when it comes to uh, my work. Basically it allows you to back up all your files and what's great about Dropbox is that it makes it so so easy to do so and I recommend it 100%. So many times have I lost files and it's been an absolute disaster so I think that it's so so important to back everything up. This is like a serious thing, you know, have it on a hard drive, have it on Dropbox, have it on your computer. Your files, especially the ones that are important, need to exist in more than two places, like at least two places. And the thing is, teachers and professors aren't going to accept uh, excuses like, you know, I lost it or my laptop crashed. So you really need to take responsibility for your work and make sure everything's backed up. So that's why Dropbox is so important to me. And as I said, it's really easy to use. All you have to do is drag the file into the sidebar where it says Dropbox, and from there on, that's it. It automatically synchronizes into the website. So then you can just access your files from any device, anywhere, as long as you have internet, and it just makes your life 10 times easier. So yes, those were my five must-have study programs. Uh, as I said before, all the links to download them are in the description box below. And I hope you guys found this video helpful. I think, I wish I'd known some of these programs that existed before. If you do have it, or if you just downloaded it, tell me what you think of it in the comments below. And yeah, that's
that's it. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll see you next week. Bye!